How's it going, folks? AZPlow21 here with Football Manager 2022. Um, playing Football Manager. I'm super excited. Um, I'm already a little bit into this save here with Phoenix Rising. Now, Phoenix Rising is not a club that is actually in the MLS. They're actually in the, uh, the USL, which is kind of like a second division, uh, you know, league in, in America. Um, they're not an MLS club right now, but what I basically did is I replaced um, Charlotte. Was it Charlotte? Yeah. So I replaced Charlotte FC with uh, Phoenix Rising. So that way they could come into the league as a uh, as an expansion side. Um, so with that, I had to go through all the process of um, basically I had to wait an entire year with this Phoenix Rising squad before I could even really get started. Um, which was kind of weird, but kind of good at the same time just because I, I was allowed a lot of time to really get my staff together that I wanted to. I was able to sign a couple players throughout the course of that first season that I wanted to keep on the team. The real problem was just, you know, keeping them fit um, because they were essentially wasting a whole season, you know, with this team that doesn't really exist yet. As you can see, I've already gotten eight, eight matches into the season, uh, 14 points out of eight matches in a playoff spot as an expansion team, which is awesome. So far, you can see uh, the board absolutely loving me. Um, they're, they've been delighted with what I've been able to do. Their only criticism is just obviously the matches that I've lost thus far. Um, but so I'm going to go ahead and go through kind of the transfers that I've made. I'm going to introduce you to the squad as a whole, go through my tactic, and then uh, I think we'll go ahead and play one match um, in this episode before we kind of close it out. Um, so let's go ahead and introduce you to the squad. Uh, we'll start... Uh, we'll do it position by position. So let's start out with our goalkeepers. We only have two goalkeepers. Um, and I, 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 I'm cheating a little bit. I have the uh, editor on and I'm using current and potential ability. I only have a couple leagues loaded. So it's not necessarily like I'm going to be able to get, you know, the best players anyway. So this is kind of what I'm rocking with. Um, so I have Cody Cropper, who I believe has played for uh, San Jose. No, New England Revolution. He's played for New England Revolution quite a bit. Uh, and Jonathan Klinsman, who used to play for the Galaxy. Uh, we actually got Jonathan Klinsman through the expansion draft, which is awesome. Young goalkeeper, still a little bit of upside. Going to be awesome to keep him around. Cody Cropper, uh, definitely towards the tail end of his development. Not necessarily his career, but his development for sure. Um, but they're kind of splitting time between the posts. Um, so that's perfectly fine. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our defenders that we have here. We'll go from bottom to top. Uh, Steve Hughes, this guy we actually got in the draft. As you can see there, a lot of upside still, 128 potential ability. Um, we got this guy through the super draft. I believe he was around three choice uh, coming out of the Boston Bolts, which is essentially just look whatever college he went to. Uh, Esai Easley, I actually signed this guy on a free transfer. Former product out of Sporting Kansas City. Um, last season, you know, he did pretty well in the, you know, friendly matches that we gave to him. And we've actually given him a lot of playing time because we've had a couple injuries, made eight appearances thus far, and he's done very, very well, Isai Easley. Um, that with only 93 current ability, still a little bit of upside to him. I doubt he's really going to be able to make it at 92 overall ability, I should say. Uh, Sam Raven, 24 year old, also signed this guy on a free transfer, also sporting Kansas City pros prospect. Um, hasn't really shown that much uh, for us yet. Only 10 matches in the friendlies last year. Uh, four appearances so far this year off of the bench. Um, he, backup player, essentially. Uh, Emmett Korcha. Uh, this guy also, I actually signed this guy out of a Croatian league. Uh, but he's American, which is very, very important because of the MLS rules. Um, so 33000 you know, for him. Whatever. To get a backup player. Not too much upside left to him, but... Uh, definitely needed squad players essentially um, and you can see here 21 years old still a little bit of upside 120 his maximum potential ability um, now we're going to start getting to like the starters for the team as far as the defensive side Diego Palacios Ecuadorian international uh, I was able to get this guy on a free transfer formerly at LAFC uh, he's taking up one of our international spots formerly at Willem over in the Netherlands uh, but he's been in the MLS system for about two years now. Was happy to snatch him up. He's only played three games thus far this year because he has had a bit of an injury history with us thus far. So that's kind of unfortunate. But hopefully he can get back into it. Only 22 years old. Still a lot of upside to him. 
133 potential ability. Uh, just like this guy, Robert Volader, German, from Hanover, signed him on a free. I actually decided to loan him back over to, actually not even, Sporting Kansas City this guy came from. Uh, for whatever reason, they decided to cut him uh, after spending nearly half a million dollars on him. Signed him on a free, sent him out to the uh, Bundesliga 2. Uh, where he got a lot of really good playing time with Hanover, which is awesome. And ever since then, he's been our one of our starting center backs, which is awesome. I definitely see myself keeping him, you know, kind of long term until something better arises, you know. Still got a lot of upside, 134 potential ability. Elvis Powell, this guy has been a staple in the MLS for a while. Jamaican international as well. This guy I've actually really enjoyed having on the team. Um, former... Portland Timber, you can see there. You play for Cincinnati, played for Inter Miami a little bit, played for Philadelphia, not play for Philadelphia Union actually. Went back to Cincinnati, went back to Inter Miami. We signed him out of the expansion draft. I said enough of this. You know, like I really enjoy having Alvis Powell around. Um, he is our starting, I believe, right back. Yeah, he is our starting right back. Um, and then we got Matteo Musaccio. Matteo Musaccio. Argentinian international. Uh, we this guy we signed on a free right out of Lazio from the Serie A. Um, really good signing for us thus far. We actually sent him on loan to get some you know better playing time last year uh, to League Un. He went to Monaco and he got playing time and he did very well. 19 appearances, 7.03. Uh, came right back to us and he started every match for us at center back, 7.04 average rating. So he's really killing it as well, Matteo Masaccio. Um, let's go ahead and go over to the uh, defensive and midfielders. Actually, no, we'll just go with midfielders right now. Um, Salvador Villegas, this guy's definitely more of one for the future. You can see he's not, if anything, he's regressing. <coughs> Salvador Villegas uh, has only had one appearance for us thus far. Last year in the friendly matches didn't do super great, uh, but definitely a young player, reserve player. Uh, this guy is one to look out for, Nathan Mahan. We had the number one overall pick in the Super Draft, and we snacked this guy up. You can see still a lot of room for improvement um, out of Reading United in Pennsylvania, interestingly enough. Uh, Going to be one to look out for. He definitely doesn't have the current ability that we want, but he's on the bench. He's getting some playing time. Uh, Kyle Scott, this guy, definitely more of a reserve player. Uh, signed him up on a free, formerly from Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Uh, he can get the job done for us eventually, I'd imagine. Ignacio Poplowski, uh, formerly from the Orlando City Reserve Team, picked him up on a free. Uh, did very, very, very well for us in the friendlies last year. Um, just was unable to really replicate that. Plus, we got Nathan Mahan. We have some new players, so he's not going to be starting for us. Um, Robbie Robinson, this guy's actually more of a striker. We already saw Diego Palacios. Jefferson Orejuela, Ecuadorian international. Uh You'll see how he fits into our tactic. Looking pretty good. Three and a half star ability. Kind of at the end of his potential, pretty much. Uh, formerly out of Barcelona SC from Ecuador. Caretaro also. He used to play for. Um, but this guy, you can see here at the bottom. He's been killing it for us thus far. 6.84. Not the greatest, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, definitely getting the job done for him. Felipe Augusto. This guy's currently injured. Um, but he's one of our... Uh, essentially starting center midfielders. I believe he's actually been coming off the bench though recently. Um, picked him up on a free uh, out of Saudi Arabia. Uh, sent him on loan to Atletico Mineiro and then sent him again on loan over to Hertha Berlin where he got some playing time in both Serie A in Brazil and in the Bundesliga just to keep him fit essentially. Uh, able to bring him back and he's gotten some playing time since then. Um, but we've uh, been kind of rocking with this guy instead. Federico Navarro. Argentinian, 22 years old. He's been uh, doing very well for us thus far. Uh, formerly of Chicago Fire. Got some playing time with them last year. After they paid $5 million, um, they decided he was probably making too much money and they put him into the expansion draft. And we were very, very happy to snap him up. Uh, Federico Navarro, he's on only 5,000 pounds a week. That's like $250,000. That is not a lot. That's senior wages. He's basically essentially just taking up an international slot at this point and a bargain a bargain for this guy federico navarro uh paul Ariola, one of our wingers american international that is awesome uh also from the expansion draft after fc dallas paid two million dollars for him crazy 
Um, but I'm happy to snap him up. You can see 6.99 doing okay for us in the league thus far. Um, overall, just one of the better players on our team, obviously, Paul Areola. All right, let me go ahead and take a look at the attacking players. Salvador Villegas, we already got to start at. Um, Brahim Bazzuti. Now, we don't have a lot of depth on the left wing, so this guy has been starting for us, and he's been killing it. Um, you can see his stats don't look that great. The Algerian, um, I'd imagine just based off of his form and like how he's been playing for us, we got him in the super draft and I think he was like a second round pick, but he's been starting for us. Like I said, just cause we haven't really had any left backs that have either been healthy or just doing good in training or anything like that. Like this guy has been killing it for us. He's got man of the match one match, 7.12 current form. He's killing it. Only on 1.6, you know, K a week. I'd imagine he's probably going to get called up to the Algerian team if he keeps up this form. That's going to be sweet. Uh, Sajir Arce, American, 20 years old. Picked him up for a million dollars. Not sure how it's going to work out because he's more of a striker than an actual winger. Um, he's gotten some playing time. He definitely has a lot of potential still. Um, despite that said, he does not have too much potential left. Um, but I can see it in him. He's going to still grow. He's been capped at under 20, so it's clearly the international, uh, clearly the uh, Federation saw something in him. Kyle Holcomb, this guy is one of our backup strikers. He's been capped at under 19, uh, coming out of the uh, Orange County U23s, essentially. We picked him up on a free. We said, hey, this, this kid, we see a lot of him, so we'll give him a go. Uh, very athletic player, still has a lot to work on as far as the technicals of his game. But we've been able to get him some playing time. Uh, don't think he's going to like really break into the first team necessarily, but it's worth taking a look at. Joshua Pinedath, 20 years old. You can tell that there's a little bit of a theme here. Really going after those younger players. Um, picked him up on a free from Ajax's youth development, it looks like. Um, loaned him out to, you know, Netherlands once again. And uh, he's been able to pick up some appearances off the bench for us thus far. Nathan Mahan, we already went over him. First round draft pick, number one draft pick, Kyle Scott, Pavlovsky, we already went over. Robbie Robinson. Uh, this guy, I believe, we also picked up in the expansion draft after uh, Super Draft from Inter Miami, played for them, got traded to LAFC, played the entire season for them, and did okay. Four goals and 35 appearances, I wouldn't consider great, but we were able to figure something out with him, I'd imagine, because look at that 7.65 average rating, four goals and six appearances thus far for Robbie Robinson. He's killing it for us. And he still has a lot of upside left. So I got to love that. Uh, Diego Palacios, we've already went through him. Nigel Roberta, we picked this guy up off of a waiver claim from DC United after they paid a million dollars for him uh, from a Bulgarian team. So look great business for them. Um, four appearances thus far, he's been injured a little bit. So uh, that's been kind of hurting his progress progressiveness, I guess you can say. Uh, Jan Hurtado, we picked this guy up on a free um, from Boca Juniors, who for whatever reason did not want this guy. And this guy's currently leading the league in, in goals, I believe. Eight appearances, five goals, three assists. This guy's been killing it. Um, so that's kind of my squad. Uh, you can look through the academy. Not really much to speak of, honestly. Um, our finances are perfectly fine. We have a transfer budget, but we really don't have a need to spend it. Because I like the team the way it is. I want them to kind of progress just the way they are. Um, yeah. You, know, you can see there the payroll. We're currently spending way under that. But that's just because we do have the, uh, the salary cap. <clears throat> to think of uh, let's go ahead and look through who the highest paid uh players are and the highest paid players are mateo musashio seventy-five thousand a week but definitely worth it considering he's that you know big guy in the back felipe augusto this guy's coming off the bench so i don't want to say he's entirely worth it um but you know if he can just keep on you know Owning his craft, you know, maybe teaching the young guys something, completely worth it. Paul Ariola, U.S. International, 20K. Nigel Roberta, uh, Curacaoan International, I believe. Yep, nine goals and 10 appearances for them. Uh, 12,000 a week. And then after that, everyone else is under 10,000 a week. Um, so, yeah, we are still meeting our salary. Uh, where is the... I wanted to see... League specific. Okay, yeah. So we're still under the salary cap, eighty-seven thousand out of ninety-four thousand. Um, let's see. Allocated money. Uh, we still have twenty-eight two million eight hundred. Um, general allocation money. Now that's what you use to kind of lessen salary cap um, hits. Um, we only have three hundred sixty-three thousand, which is not a lot. So we really can't afford to make any big signings this year. 
Um, so this that's kind of part of the reason why I was like, you really can't sign anybody else right now. Um, so yeah, uh, with my tactic, <clears throat> one of my favorite YouTube channels is Zealand, who also goes over a lot of FM content, which is awesome. Check him out if you haven't already done so. Um, I'm rocking with this 424 attacking mentality. Um, you can see there's shorter passing, pass into space, out of defense, low crosses, run at defense, work the ball into the box, extremely high tempo. So very much Tiki Taka, <clears throat> but you know, with a very direct kind of feel to it. Uh, in transition, roll it out, distribute to fullbacks, counter and counter press. Out of possession, forcing the opposition to the wings. Higher defensive line, much higher line of engagement. So definitely kind of gegen pressing a little bit. Just trying to really get after it once we lose the ball, get the ball back. That's essentially the name of the game for us. Um, you can see there right now, Cropper, Easley, Masaccio, Volader, Palacios, Navarro, Orejuela, Ariola, Bazidi, Buzidi, Hurtado, and Robinson. Got those two supporting wingers, two attacking forwards, uh, roaming playmaker, uh, box to box midfielder, two inverted win backs, and two ball playing defenders, and a sweeper keeper on attack and Cropper. If you can go and snatch those balls up, I'm not gonna, not gonna hate it. All right. Um, so as far as our scouting, uh, the thing is, we really don't need to scout that much right now because, like I said, there's really no room for us to make any signings. Um, so anything we do, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll scout the North American Champions League. So anything we do would be gravy, essentially. We don't have a lot of salary room, you know, to make a signing. We do have international slots, because I believe we got, we got traded a bunch of international slots for, like, some really crappy players, um, which was pretty interesting. Um, we can go through the actual transfer history, because I believe we actually did sell some players. You can see there, Guzman Carujo, a guy who beforehand was signed up by charlotte fc he was just not good enough um he was picked up on a free by us technically charlotte um so still a good bit of business i guess you can say um because he came in on a free uh, on a, and a contract signing um did not like him was not going to start in my team get out so that's kind of what i just took care of there you can see there mahan hughes boziti and then jan hurtado those are our free transfers all the loan outs um, and you can see all the guys that we signed up here. Uh, Johnny Lee, this guy is on the uh, on the reserve team. He just had a little bit of uh, potential behind him, so we signed him out of the uh, academy. Same with Chris Saunders. Same with Juan Arzate. Um, you know, just a lot of signings we had to make over the last year just because we were starting from complete scratch. I did not want any players on the team that Charlotte FC had already had signed. The only thing was there was that guy coming in on a free transfer at the end. That really couldn't be stopped, but I got him sold anyways. Um, but yeah, club vision, <clears throat> all we really need to do is finish bottom of the league. We're probably going to make the playoffs if we keep our run going. Um, U.S. Open Cup reach fourth round. I'm probably going to make a lot of changes. We're going to be improving our training facilities for the second time this season already. So I believe we're going to have uh, not state of the art, but some pretty good training facilities once this is all said and done. Um, you can see, take a look at our staff. we got a pretty big coaching staff. Uh, pretty get pretty big recruitment team could be better we're kind of average as far as the mls same can be said with our medical staff but our training staff our coaching staff the best in the mls really proud of that um let's see what we've got going on saturday april 9th we've got inter miami <clears throat> got some scouts going at it uh the neck from inter miami i'm not really interested in making a, a bunch of signings and i really don't like trading in the mls not a big fan of that um, because there's no real way to tell what kind of value I'm getting. So I don't like doing it. If I get offered trades <clears throat> and I like them, I'll do it. But other than that, no, not really. <clears throat> Press conference. Let's see what they've got to say. Uh, pick up where they left, of course, because we won. Fine start. Delighted with his performance. He's back when he returns from injury. Uh, yeah, patient and cautious. That way he doesn't expect playing time right away. Positive impact. Personality everyone gravitates towards. Ideal for the game. Yep, he's in his prime. Uh, leadership credentials. Yep, we love Mateo Masaccio. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and get this uh, one game through. Uh, Michael Halliday on the waiver list does not look like someone that I would really need. Um, no. We're good without Michael Halliday. Uh, popped up to fourth out of nowhere. Okay. 
I don't get I I thought we were below, but all right. Um Isai Easley. This guy is absolutely a monster on the training pitch. His determination isn't even that big. Which is why I've been like super happy to keep starting him, just because he's killing it on the training pitch. Pablovsky, uh, you gotta you gotta improve. He'll make up for it. We'll see about that. He hasn't been playing. Might be why he's a little disheartened. Enter Miami. What kind of transfers? Uh trade. Alvis Powell. First round pick. Third round pick. Uh, no. I want to keep Alvis Powell. I like my team the way it is, so I'm not going to mess it up by trading or cutting anybody. I like my team the way it is right now. <laughs> All right. Um, Steven Moreira. Fullback. 8.5 a week. Uh, Yaboa. 8.5 a week. Felipe Mora. Yeah, I don't want to sign guys to really big contracts. That's I'm going to try to be as stingy as possible. DeAndre Yedlin. We'll go ahead and full scout him because he's American. Um, yeah, I, I, unless they're American, I really don't want to pay guys that much. Um, they're they're added. They're telling me to make some changes. Proper won his last match. Al Holcomb and Salvador Villegas. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Roberta obviously has to come off the bench. Palacios is looking a bit tired, um, but I'm going to rock with him. Ariel is looking a bit tired as well. We're going to rock with Cropper. Reacted well to the latest press conference. Um, so that's a winger. So we might need another winger. Uh, Pinedath, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll rock with Pinedath on the bench. Uh, we are still allowed four, I believe. Four. Uh, yeah, four. Hold on, let me just make sure. Palacios, Volivir, Masaccio, Easley, Orejuela, and Navarro, Buzidi, Ariola, Robinson, and Hurtado. Like I said, we got Augusto coming off the bench. Um, yeah, let's hope that this team can get the job done today. Go ahead and get into it. All right. Go to the dressing room. Um, give their money's worth. Make a difference, make a difference, and make a difference. Uh, spell a poor form, poor form. Uh, we've lost two out of our last five, I guess. Uh, we want, we have to want it more. First goal will be crucial. Yes, yep, we can produce today. Let's go ahead and get it done, boys. Go ahead and get it skipped. I do believe that, oh, it looks like we do not. Doesn't matter. Let's get to it. Enter Miami on the ball. Yedlin. Oh, Higuaini! No, oh, that sucks. Is he offside? Gonzalo Higuaini, is he offside? I don't think he's going to be called offside. Oh, he's not offside at all. No, that's, that's a goal. All right, boys, let's answer back. Let's answer back from that. Orejuela, Palacios right away to Hurtado. No good. I'm just kind of bumping it up. All right, it's easily Masaccio. Easily kind of, you know, bumping up a little bit. I'd rather he kind of get back to position. And that's kind of why Mendez immediately nearly scores the second there for Inter Miami. Not a big fan of how the match is going thus far. Uh, easily yeah i don't want to say he's to blame for that goal necessarily but he's out of position consistently Hurtado, easler okay get sent back over easily navarro Hurtado, navarro robinson score it robbie Ooh, is that off the post i'll, I'll slow it down a little bit oh no easily has been shown a red card I just saw that. Oh god. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, Easley's been shown a red card. All right. So Buziti, we're gonna have to move back to right back, and let's see. Um, Alvis Powell get back in there. It's gonna be tough. Uh, I'd imagine we're going to lose this game at this point. We're already down one nothing. 
Higuain on the free kick. Off the post. We're going to have to go cautious from here on in just because we're, we're down a man at this point. It's not looking very good, potentially. I mean, these things happen. Ariola's getting quite tired already. We need to be careful now. Very defensive. No, like, I want to stay cautious, you know. Just keep trying. Um, we deserve to win this. I don't know if we actually do. I believe you can improve. I believe you can improve. I believe you can improve. At this point, we kind of just have to see what's popping. You know, we're not expected to get a result out of this since Easley was sent off. Johnson. Jones. Back to Johnson, who's going to cross it in. Looking for Ascona. Wow. What a weak goal to give up, Cody Cropper. Oh, my God. Gives up just the easiest rebound of all time. Well, we gave Cropper the start, but he's definitely not going to be starting next match after that. Um, 60 minutes in, I'm going to get rid of Ariola, who's been having a terrible game. And he's just very tired. Um, on comes Pinedath. Uh, Palacios. Robinson has been having a shocker of a game. We'll bring on the young guy, Arce. Ariola. Just dispossessing the ball like way too easily, us. Marsman. Doing some techers. Wow. Wow. That was Musashio, too. Just let it go over his head. And Higuain almost had a hat trick. Hurtado. Can the boys get something done? On to Navarro. No, it's Quintero's back to Marsman. Oh, God, Musashio. Wow. Just a terrible game for us overall. The right back needed to get back. Powell just caught looking. Not a good look for us today, boys. Not a good look. Um... Navarro's looking desperate, apparently. We'll bring on Felipe Augusto. Probably going to change the side up a little bit for the next game, because this is not good. Getting sent off early on, definitely going to do that, but it sucks. Got to keep some sense of uh, urgency about us. Let's see if we can get a goal back. Boom! Let's go. Hurtado with his sixth of the season. That's good for goal differential, at least. We're going to lose the game, but, you know, get, getting something out of it, at the very least. Palacios has had a bad game. Our, our wingbacks all together have had a terrible game, and we lose 3-1. Uh, not happy. Not going to throw any bottles or anything. Um, didn't deserve it today. my job uh yeah he definitely made it difficult don't want to comment on individual performances i'm in no business of uh praising the other side easily uh half week's wages yep we'll go with that don't appeal All right, send the assistant to that press conference. Not about to do that. Uh, still in fourth place, though. Um, with games in hand, we'll still at least be in a playoff spot, it looks like. Yep, <laughs> he's accepted his fine for that dismissal, it says. Still in fourth place in the Eastern Conference. We're on a... We kind of played too many... <clears throat> played too many games, it looks like. As you can see, we fully deserve to lose that match. Um, but let's go ahead. I think we'll just do one more match. And then we'll go ahead and end this uh, little stream here. Nicholas. Is this his name? Nicholas? Is he Brazilian? Yep. Based in Brazil. Cool. Does not look that good, though. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Derek Osede out of Alcoyano. Like a good center back. 
playing New England Revolution, who I believe we have already played. They were our opening match, and we won. So we could really, 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 really use a, a big win here. This is the training I have planned. Okay, very well. Um, Got to get some bonding in there. Team bonding. Only this once. You gotta get some bonding in there every now and then. So I'll just edit those little things. Um, Alvis Powell, no, I don't want to get rid of Powell right now unless he just absolutely starts stinking it up. Right. We'll take a look at the emails once we get there. In need of arrest, players to arrest. Focus on transfers. Due to poor youth facilities. Okay. Um, no thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll take a look at him. Thanks. No thanks. Um, all right, cool. So as far as international players, I'm not going to sign any international players unless they're players that can really contribute to the squad, like, right now. They were fairly dominant throughout the first half. Large number of passes. Performing well below average statistically. Okay, Tato might be out for the game. This is a pretty big game, considering they're a terrible side, so I kind of want to risk him just to get that win. I think we're going to start him. Give him at least 45, 50 minutes. Let's see. Uh, real determination to make amends. Um, further out. Uh, I just said he's still not fit. I hope he can improve. Uh, one of our most important players. Okay, do they did not ask about your Hurtado? Interestingly enough. Right, we don't need a general manager or a recruitment analyst. Cameron Duke. Um, this guy's a central midfielder, 1.6 a week. Do we need him? Not really. But we're good without Cameron Duke. Isai Easley still training very well. That's awesome. He did get sent off though, so he's not gonna be able to start in this one. Boladere is progressing, progressing pretty well. A lot of away matches. A lot of away matches. We'll go ahead and scout this kid. Looks really good. Miguel Reynoso. Tactical meeting. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, they're suggesting that we drop proper, which is exactly what I was going to do. Easily. We'll get Alvis Powell in there. Other than that, Hurtado. Ah. Uh, uh, saying you should not start. I'm not entirely sure I want to. We'll bring Raven on there. Um, no, I'm going to have him play. Hurtado. We're going to have him play. Yeah, we'll give him 45 minutes or so. After 45 minutes, he's done -zo. Go ahead and put on a show. I've got faith in you. I've got faith in you. And I've got faith in you. Let's go, boys. Um, It's been a tough run. We can come out strong. Uh, opportunity to impress. We should beat them. All right. Let's get it done, then. Gustavo Bo, good up top, but that's about it. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Nothing going on early on. That's kind of stressing me out a little bit. The fact that we have not really gotten anything going. Okay, Buzidi might have taken an injury. Okay. Free kick for them. Linsman. Okay, let's go counterattack. All right, distributing to the fullbacks. Beautiful. Alvis Powell. Ariola, Navarro, Hurtado, 
Robinson trying to find her title. He can't do so. Matt Turner. Boladere. Palacios. Trying to find Hurtado up top. He does. And it's in. Let's go. Jan Hurtado is there. Oh, no. He's going to be offside. Oh, he's offside. Oh. Is that a good goal? That's a good goal. Let's go. Beautiful. Hurtado got the job done. Buzidi looks to have kind of, you know, recovered from that little knock that he took on. Um, okay. Corner kick here for Revolution. And it is off the post. And Powell clears the danger. Over to Hurtado. And who immediately gets dispossessed. All right. Uh, going into halftime with the 1-0. With the 1-0 lead, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, all right. Let's see. Keep going. Keep going and keep going. Uh, we're going to keep Hurtado out there. Does not look to have gotten shaken up or anything. All right. Ariola. All right. Back over to Musashio. Robert Volader, Palacios, Orejuela, Uzidi, who is still on a knock. We'll look to we'll look to get him out of there. Uh, Robinson. Palacios, take a shot, son. Take a shot. Wow, that was a terrible shot. All right, let's look to get Buzidi off. Um, we'll bring. Okay, yeah, we'll take Robinson on the left wing, and we'll bring on. Let's bring on Kelly Holcomb. See what he can get done here. Kyle Holcomb, I should have said. Navarro, Holcomb, trying to get it over to Ariola. Can't do so. All the way back to Alvis Powell, Ariola. Go ahead. Go to the wing. Get that low cross in. Not exactly a low cross. Header over the bar. Ugh, not the best cross from Ariola. All right. Let's get Orjuela off there. He's looking pretty tired. Let's bring on our boy Felipe Augusto. Uh, let's see. Switching them around. That's beautiful. Switching their roles a little bit. I mean, we're doing well. We're doing well. It's just it's only one nothing. That's my only concern. Boladere is looking tired. He hasn't had the greatest game. Ariola has not had the greatest game either. Yeah, Ari Ariola is having a terrible game. So let's get him off. Um, let's bring on Pinadat. We have one more substitution. Don't really want to have to use it if I don't have to. Navarro is looking quite tired. Um, so let's. Oh no 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 no. Oh, we don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. Beautiful. Full time. I was going to bring on Nathan Mahan, but we didn't need to. Um, Holcomb didn't have a great second half, but it is what it is. Got the dub. one nothing. Um, despite not being at our best, we got the result. Perfectly fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. All right. We go up to third. couple games in hand from some other teams, but we really should stay around fourth place, honestly. Irregardless what happens, which is awesome. In a playoff spot, easily took care of the worst team in the conference. Buzidi's not out for that long. Uh, we'll go ahead and send our assistant over to that. And uh, that's going to take care of this little stream for me. Um, this is Football Manager 2022 with the MLS. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, if not, I'm AZPlyo21. Other than Football Manager, I play another game called WMMA5 a lot, which is essentially a management game where you run your own MMA promotion. You get to sign the fighters book all the fights. It's all good stuff. Um, appreciate you guys. As always, if you are enjoying the MLS in FM22 or you have any questions about it, leave me a comment down below. Um, I'll see you guys next time.